What's up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Stardew Valley. My name is Splattercat. Happy to have you here today. I know I said I was going to walk back across the museum, but then I forgot that I said I was going to do that. And so we're still pretty much just chilling over by Marnie's house. So we got to find Caroline today. There are things to get done. There's always something going on in this game. That's the best part about it is that there's always some little thing that you need to take care of, and that's what I find to be fun about the game, is just little mundane tasks over and over and over again, but they're different every day, and there's always something you can be working on. Enough of it is sandbox, and enough of it is programmed to where it feels like there's structure, but there's not too much rigidity, so you feel like you have freedom to play the way you want. Very, very unique line that this game has tread, and I'm, I'm impressed by it. I really sincerely am. I gotta drop this scroll off at the museum, though. Got lots of, hey, Mayor Lewis, you wanna get a present? And then also, hair gel, you want to get a present over here? Marvelous! Oh, he's got two hearts. Okay, I didn't know we had two hearts with him. Sweet! Lining ourselves up for all kinds of events in the near future. This place is growing. We really have, like, donated a lot to this museum. And if there's this many slots that you can display things on, what's really crazy to think about is that we still haven't found, like, this much stuff. Well, we found all of these random things that we've been able to donate, but we're still missing a lot of spaces. All right, a couple more people made a little bit happier. Not gonna swing out. Does Clint or Cliff or whatever his name is? Does he like mayonnaise? Let's find out. This is a fun gift. Thanks. I don't think fun when I look at a big old jug of mayonnaise, but sure. All right. I guess that's one word to describe it. I don't think that's the one that I've ever used. Like I look at a thing of mayonnaise and I think sandwich lubricant of choice. Not any of that Miracle Whip heresy. Good God, no. Absolutely not. Never in my home. Mm -mm, never in my home. Miracle Whip is nasty. That is the chosen sandwich lubricant of those who worship the gods that we shall not name. The ones that have no name because they will not be named. We will not dignify them with names. Mm -mm, gross. Ew. Uh -uh. How come nobody's working here today? Is the hospital just like not doing anything? Oh, there's Caroline right there. Let's get her her pumpkin. I think that's her anyways. Let me check. Is it just me or does Abigail play too many video games? Well, there's no such thing. Okay, there is such a thing, but... Oh, the pumpkin! And it's a good one! Abigail will be so happy when she sees this. Thanks, Figgle Farmer. Yup. Saving the town. One pumpkin at a time. You know how I go. Every now and again, you gotta give somebody a pumpkin. There we go. We'll give that one to Jody. And then, old lady, you want a little bit of this over here? Old lady wants a little bit of this mail. I know she does. She's always looking. She doesn't want George. George can't handle that old lady anymore. She's outrun him. She's outrun him. She's a young, virile man. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Brutal. And then we'll keep working on Haley, too, because why not? We already gave gifts out to everybody anyways. I don't know what I want to do. Need to go smelt some gold. We'll get some sprinkler supplies all locked down. Oh, I know what I needed to do. Oh, that tree is bugged right there. Look. Their textures are all cut off on one side. I wonder why that is. Never noticed that before. That's the first bug that I've ever seen inside this game. Weird. Their sprite is cut off. I guess it's not a texture. It's like a sprite or like a... I kind of wonder how much of this game is hand-painted and how much of it is like stuff that they actually use like a painting tool to just like put all over the place. I'm sure it's a little of this and a little of that. I needed to talk to... Oh, that's right. We were going to upgrade our house today. 450 pieces of wood. Jesus. Can I buy wood from you? I don't feel like going all the way back and farming wood. It's 10 a piece. It's not really that expensive. I mean, honestly, it might be more cost effective just to buy the shit. I don't even care. One of the side effects of having money is you stop caring about expenditures. You're like, ah, yeah, just make it happen. Don't talk to me about it again. There we go, 10,000 gold spent, she'll get started on her house. Now, in all honesty, this is one of those upgrades that I don't think is that useful. It's kind of useful in that you can make more expensive meals out of the food that you're already farming off of your property. But at the same time, this is one of those things where it really only just, like, provides you with more storage space and stuff like that, if that's what you need. A little bit more clay right there. We've done a pretty good job collecting books for the library, and we've done a great job at collecting relics for the museum. However, we still have a long path in front of us. Long path. I don't think any of these are ready to go, but these new trees are ready for tappers, too. So we may want to give that some thought. 
like where we want to put these tappers in. I'm going to chop down some trees for a little bit so that actually we can go straight ahead and make some more tappers because we're going to need a ton of them. We're going to need, I think, maybe at least 400 to 600 wood in order to get all of our taps done so that we're farming both resin and we're farming maple syrup. And that'll give us every single month, I think they harvest every week. And so that's four harvests. That'll give us roughly... About 45 maple syrups a month because I think we have around 12 or so trees in that region anyways. And then on the other side, I went a little bit lighter on the resin because I wasn't sure that I was going to need it for anything other than work, woodwork or anything like that. My woodwork has not been so good lately. I've been trying to work the wood as much as possible, but I'm falling down on the job. I'm falling down. You can only work so much wood every single day before you get tired. You just can't work that wood any further. You start getting calluses, and that makes working the wood even more difficult because then you got like an abrasive weird rug burn thing going on it's just gotta be careful gotta be careful wear gloves supple gloves gloves of a supple nature if you're gonna be working a lot of wood on a daily basis keep chopping down trees Perfecto. And I honestly, I think I'm just going to chop trees for the rest of the day. Seems like a plan to me. Our cow is stuck again. I may need to move those cheese press thingies until there's more than enough room for the cow to do its business and get back inside. Maybe put the cheese presses along the left-hand side instead. It'll look a little bit uglier, and it won't be my favorite thing that I've set up here. But it'll work better. At 7.50 p.m., we only got a little bit of energy left. We should be able to chop pretty deeply into the night, though. This was, however, one of the reasons why I was a little bit nervous about going out and chopping wood. Coming back, we wouldn't have time to upgrade the house. And then on top of that, we still just need more wood anyways. It was just easier to buy the stuff that we needed. And I know that goes against my plan that I just declared of trying to have like 20, 30,000 gold by the time we go into winter. But we've still got 10 days left, 7 days left anyways. And that's enough for at least another harvest of every single plant. At which point we should find ourselves. Let me go ahead and eat this blackberry. One blackberry gave me enough energy to power on through. Normally, I'm a little bit antsy about blackberries I found out in nature if I'm, like, in a city area. Because people used to do shit in high school, like, pee on blackberry bushes because they thought it was funny. And so, like, if the blackberries are inside the city limits, I don't mess with that noise. Here, Moo Moo, go back inside. Are you still wandering around outdoors? Go inside. What is wrong with this cow? She was apparently hungry. Oh, she didn't even get to go out and eat first. That explains why there was one hay missing each day. Gotcha. Okay. Well, let's put our little cheese pressy things over here. Cool. That'll work for a little bit. That'll work for a little bit. I'm thinking... That's it for today. Oh, we got a honey farm going too, though. Cool. And then I'll throw a little bit more gold in there so that we have eight bricks of gold ready to go so I can either upgrade one of my tools or B, I could go all in. Did I forget to harvest yams today? Looks like I had a yam harvest. I don't even know about it. Interesting. I'll probably plant some throwaway crops here. Because why not? There we go. That'll get her done. That'll give us yet another full harvest. I'm going to say this now. Summer was a really, I'm sorry, fall was a really, really lucrative season for us. Like We made a lot of money this season. I think we doubled our net worth. So we got a watering can proficiency. We got hoe proficiency. We can make a keg now. We've got a new crafting recipe for the oil maker. And we've got deluxe speed grow. We should make a little bit of money today. Not a lot, though. Because I think we had like a half harvest. And it was like a cranberry harvest. So the cranberry harvests aren't altogether worth that much. Not a super lucrative crop. But still okay. Made a little bit more money though. Which makes me feel a tad safer about our expenditures. We have a bunch of nuts laying around. We got that going on. Hmm. 
One of our trees turned into a mushroom overnight, which is a tiny bit concerning. I'll have to go back and investigate this phenomenon. Yeah, one of our trees turned into a mushroom. Wasn't totally expected, but I guess I can live with it. Must be a fall thing. Six red mushrooms. I wonder what those are utilized for. I really am curious. Ooh, we got a bunch of maple syrup in here. Yup, making that money. Technically, I bet I could give the maple syrup to little kids and they would, like, increase their like of us, but... I don't know, something about giving little kids gifts when we're just, like, standing around on a street corner seems weird to me. It does not seem acceptable to polite society. Got copper bars over here. Drop the wood in. What does the deluxe speed grow? Do we ever get deluxe fertilizer? Like, is that ever a thing that we have? We need pine tar and clams. Such a weird set of items. <laughs> pine tar and clams. I'll probably just make some more fertilizer so that we have it for the next season. Big old stack of the stuff. I think we could probably continue to smelt for the rest of the day. And just make sure we end up with some goodies here. Mm. I think that goes with me, that goes with me. There's still organization to be done in a lot of our crates too, which has got me thinking about where I want things to be at. Organization's important to me. You wouldn't be able to tell by looking at my house, because my house is a ridiculous, awful, just cesspit of a mess. But I worked on it for like an hour and a half. I used to have like a pristine house. Used to. I don't know what happened. A switch flicked and I just don't care anymore. I think it's just because I'm busy so much of the time that I can't be bothered with. Busy so much of the time that I can't be. That actually makes it easy to farm up her reputation too. You remember my birthday. Thank you. This is great. Give her a little bit of honey for her birthday. A little bit of honey. So I ain't got to spend no money. Left the door open. They probably left us a whole bunch of eggs on the floor. Oh yeah. Wow. It was egg laying season. Eggs dropping in here like, I don't know, Tay Diggs is up in the room or something. Gotta give props where it goes. It's unfair. How do people get born like that beautiful? It's upsetting to me. Like, there should be a maximum amount of beautiful that you can, like, obtain as a human being just to make the rest of us feel better. It's not right. It is not right. You cannot be born that good looking without some other severe defects. It just, it doesn't sit well with me. Like, man, what is going on right now? your dad a wizard and your mom was a genie like how does this happen how does this happen my cow's hearts never fill up and I don't know why do I have to like hand them stuff like here cow eat this egg I demand that you eat this egg cow can I hand feed them with the, with the hay that doesn't make them any happier either huh maybe they get a heart for like every season they survive or something like that I thought you had to pet them though like, interact with them every day or something like that. Oh, no, I think they just get hearts with time, I guess. Every month or so, they get about a half a heart. I wonder if they're more productive once they like you more, too. I hope so. So we need to smelt some stuff. We need to smelt some stuff badly because I need more tappers. And then we'll probably chop wood for the rest of the day, which I know sounds absolutely thrilling, but... It is what it is. When I edit stuff out, people are like, Ah, you edit too much! I'm quitting your channel forever! And then when I don't edit, people do the exact same thing. So you can't win if you tried. Can't win if you tried. Some people want to watch you chop the wood. They love it. It's all they want to see is you doing woodworking all day long. They're voyeurs like that. 21st. I don't think anybody else's birthday is coming up anytime soon. Man, we just got a thicket growing out here, don't we? It is downright nasty. These trees grow really, really rapid. Oh, we knocked a hazelnut out of the tree. That's weird considering this is not a hazelnut tree. That's really, really weird. We knocked a hazelnut out of a maple tree. We just, like, defied the bounds of botany. Some kind of crossbreeding going on right now. And it's not my fault. You know, like, one guy is responsible for breeding, like, all of the common plants that we eat nowadays? Like, he spent his entire life just cultivating different strains of, like, potatoes, carrots, apples, stuff like that. He's a botanist from Yale or somewhere like that. But as a hobby, he just, like tried to make foods more delicious and easier to work with. That's what he did, is he bred foods so that they would be better for human consumption. And almost like everything we get in our produce aisle nowadays are strains that like he invented or like grew. 
in essence. It's kind of crazy to me. And yet he gets like no credit for it. Like none of the apples and things are named after him. He's responsible for like pomegranate types and a bunch of stuff. Really, really cool story. They told it in one of my anthropology classes, actually. I don't know how my teacher got off on that tangent, but you know how college teachers are sometimes? Like, sometimes they come in, and you know that they don't want to teach today, and so they're easily, they're getting off on tangents, and they're just talking about, like, nothing for, like, half the lecture. I love it when my teachers come in like that. I'm like, yes! Get lucky, they'll push the test back. That was always my favorite. It's like when the teacher was unprepared, and so, like, a test was scheduled for, like, Wednesday, like a month in advance. You would know about it, and you'd be studying hella hard, and then the Wednesday would come, and they'd just be like, oh, I'm going to push it back to next week, whatever. Or I liked it even better if there was a project, because normally I was done with the project, and then on the day it was due, he'd give you, like, an extension, because the entire class, like, something went wrong. Like, there was, like, a field camp or something you had to go to. And so he'd be like, I'm going to give you a one-week extension on that, since half the class is going to be gone on field camp anyways, so that nobody's late on this. And then I would just turn mine in at the normal time, and then I would just have like a week off with no projects. Oh, it only happened like once or twice when I was in college, but it was the best. Especially since the projects we tended to work on in geology were like semester-long projects. Like, these were not projects. I turned in a project one semester that was like 230 pages long. I'm not even messing with you. I had to go to like a Kinko's and have it bound like a book so that I could turn it in. It's my senior thesis. That was the worst one that I did. That one was definitely a lot of work. I do not look back on it fondly. It was nasty. So basically what I had to do for that project is I had to go out for two and a half weeks. I had to make a bunch of maps. And then after the maps got made, I had to analyze samples and do a bunch of stuff. And basically it was just like a giant binder of scientific literature for just this really small geographic area. And it took the entire semester. Everybody was assigned the exact same area. And so the teacher wanted to see what our different conclusions were scientifically off the observations we had had in the area based on different thrust faults and things like that. It was a really, really complicated area, though. I don't think anybody got the answer right. I don't think there is a right answer, actually. As I recall, that was the answer, is that there was no right answer, is that nobody has theorized correctly what happened there or found any indicative evidence as to what happened. There's a bunch of evidence that points in one direction, kind of, but there's also evidence that counteracts that thesis or that hypothesis at the exact same time and so the area is just like a giant no man's land for scientific research and he just wanted to see what we could come up with out there he wanted to see if logically we were coming to sound conclusions unsurprisingly he found that my conclusions were not <laughs> they were not sound they were un they were very very they were very very silent i guess I'm trying to think of what i have to get rid of right now but I guess we could work iron a little bit further, too. I don't have all steel tools, so maybe that's the next thing I'll work on, is upgrading everything to steel. Fields are looking good. It's 1.40 in the p.m. I We're low on energy, so there's not that many things for us to work on here. Uh, I think I'll probably get some of the tappers together, just because it needs to get done either way. Oh, they take two copper bars. I thought they took one copper bar. That's unfortunate. I thought I was going to get a lot more mileage out of this. I thought I was going to get way more mileage. Alright, let's put these guys in. Continue tapping. I know there's got to be a couple trees in here that I've missed. Actually, I haven't. That means I can go down to the south and I can use these three on getting pine tar and... What was the other one? It's maple... I don't know, some kind of resin. Oh, they're not done yet. Okay, that means I gotta store them for a while. It's gonna hurt my storage space, but I can live with it. The next thing we needed was sprinklers. Although I can save, I can do the sprinklers later. That's not a big deal. If I merely just hold on to the stuff I have, I think I can make the sprinklers happen. And then we needed to refill before the end of the season anyways. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. I just wiped out like half my grove. Damn. It's all right. I will fix it. Hey, kitty. How you doing? Chilling? Doing cat stuff? Being lazy? Unproductive? Not really a member of the family? Not contributing towards the overall family unit and being proud of it? That's what I figured. Old furry mooches. I will probably sell this maple syrup. Because we need the cash. Oop, I missed an eggplant, too. I missed an eggplant. I really don't know if I should hold on to the mushrooms or not. But 
war with myself about it. Like, I know the second I get rid of it that I'm gonna need him for something later. Probably hold on to them. They're not, like, rare, but they come up infrequently enough to where... I think I'd rather hold on to them as a food stuff. I don't know, maybe we'll get some kind of, like, shiitake recipe or something in the future. Throw that right there. Probably get rid of the honey. The oak resin is more of a work tool than anything else. I knew a lot of work tools back when I was in the industry. However, this is a work tool of a different kind. There we go. We'll sell those off and see what kind of cash we make. A little bit more iron to be had over here. And everything else looks pretty swell. Everything else looks good. I'll probably... 10 stone is enough to where I don't want to throw it away. I'll probably just throw it in a stack over here somewhere. So it'll add up. We got a little bit of wood left, which is good. We didn't use it all up on our little projects that are all over the farm. But at this point, we're kind of just riding out the season. I'm thinking we probably want to focus on adventuring or something from now on. We got to come up with healing, though. That's our biggest issue is that until we get some healing items, that dungeon has gotten really, really dangerous for us lately. And it has been kicking our asses. We've got seeds right here, so I could turn those into field snacks pretty easily. Seems good to me. Big old stack of snacks so that I never run out of energy and have kind of a Big Mac attack ever again. Is the Big Mac attack when you're hungry and you need to have a Big Mac, or is the Big Mac attack the act of you sating your hunger with the Big Mac? There's terminology here that I need clarified by. Somebody in league with Burger King, please. There's a Burger King down the street from my house, and I jog by it every day when I do my five miles. And it smells so good. But I've sworn off fast food. I don't eat there anymore. I don't eat fast food anymore. I'm trying to, like, live a healthier life nowadays. Especially since my health has been kind of poor. Like, it might be too late to turn it around, but I'm trying to give it a go. I'm trying to give it a go. It's not working so great, but I'm trying to give it a go. And you do feel a lot better when you start eating healthier and stuff like that. I don't want to be smug about it, though, because people... I hate it when people are smug about stuff like that. They're like, mm, I, live in, I don't drink Coke. I don't do anything fun in my life. I hate every single meal I've eaten for the last year. It's all just been greens fried. Like, I don't like that kind of stuff where people get, like, super stoked about the fact that they do it. And they just got to tell everybody about it. But still, you do feel better. I mean, if you've been on the fence about it, it does make you feel okay. Not, like, ridiculous. Some people will tell you, but, like, it's, like, night and day. It's really not. It's a placebo effect. You feel kind of better. Like, I'm still sleepy at the same time as I'm normally sleepy, and I'm still pretty lethargic and don't really give a shit about anything. But at the same time, I've seen there's some physical change. This is a super gift. Thank you. Not down with Maru. I don't know why. I've been trying to keep our place clean, but it always gets messy again. Yeah, I know the feeling. That's like my house in a nutshell. Spent hours and hours and hours clean, and the next day just looks like a bomb went off, and you're like, what happened? It's a frustration. You're like, what happened here? What happened here? I'm going to work on it some more tonight, though. I'm going to give it another couple hours while I wait for videos to render. Just kind of see where things go. Give her a gift. Give her a gift. Give her a gift. And that is yet another week taken care of. We don't have multiple people at Four Hearts. But we do have some people liking us a little bit better. We've been giving out gifts and kind of hanging in there. Sam, I don't know the kind of stuff that Sam likes. I know that, like, diamonds are a pretty popular gift with everybody, but I don't like Sam like that. I ain't trying to marry him. These are my diamonds. I'm a little bit greedy when it comes to my diamonds. Not really much else to accomplish here, so I'll probably head back home and we'll probably just turn in early. Probably just tuck in nice and early. Energy's drained out. We've had a very productive day, getting lots of things done, tapping out the rest of our trees. Because they do need to be tapped out. We've made, I mean, more mayo than I even physically know what to do with here. Waiting for our baby cows to grow up. I don't know if that's going to happen at the end of the... Oh, I wonder if these are based on a real timer then. Because some stuff seems like it gets done at the end of the day. And then other stuff... Oh my god. Yup. About to make the moolah. Take you to maple school, yeah. Eight maple syrups. We're about to get paid... And then I'll probably crash for right now if she would stop banging on my wall. 
This is not the place for that. They make hotel rooms for that, so please stop. So what are those worth? They're worth 200 a pop. Hell yeah. Okay. Good money being made today. $4,000 for the future? I think we're a little bit out of time, though. So my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcast for the next episode of Stardew Valley. I'm going to see you all in future episodes. We are getting our money stockpiled together. We're getting everything right. And I'm thinking we should be able to go into winter pretty reasonably well prepared. In like five days, we've made a decent amount of cash. So I think we can make it happen, Captain. I will see you all next time. So we got a harvest in front of us. So that's going to be yet another time we're going to make a bunch of money. It's so good to be us right now. See you later. Bye.